We have some exciting updates to plan designer, row summaries and model driven apps, and the variable viewer in Canvas apps. Let's dive into the details in this month's edition of Power Apps Pulse. Welcome back to the Power Apps Pulse where we highlight quality of life improvements for your maker experience. First up, we have a couple of updates on Plan Designer. You can now create a plan from a solution you've already built. All it takes is to select a solution to create a plan from. The plan covers the business problem, user requirements, the existing data model, and suggests apps. This feature saves time in understanding a solution's content and helps makers improve an existing solution. The second feature lies within the data workspace of Plan Designer. You can now import an Excel workbook that contains multiple worksheets and select which table in the worksheet to include. Let's next take a look at the Row Summary update in Model Driven Apps. The Row Summary feature provides users with an AI-generated overview of key details about a record defined by a prompt. When you view a record in a Model Driven App form, the summary is displayed and helps users quickly understand essential information. Now you'll be able to see the summary from a view in a model driven app by selecting the inline summary action next to a record. This will open up the summary in a modal pop-up. Lastly, let's check out an update to variable viewer in Canvas apps. Previously, a character of question mark was used as a placeholder for Dataverse table columns of type choice and yes, no. You'll now see the value of the choice or yes, no columns in the variable viewer as expected. This also applies to multi-choice columns when you select the grid icon and view the values. That's it for this month's edition of Parav's Pulse. Comment down below of which improvement will make a difference to your maker experience. Catch you in the next one. Bye.